Uh, quiz 3, Math 111, Solutions. First problem, we're asked to complete the square to find the solutions to this guy right here. Uh, let's see, I think the first thing I would do is subtract 8x from both sides. The reason why is when you're completing the square, you need all the x's on the same side of the equation. Uh, let's see, the next thing to do, the only way we know how to complete the square is when the leading coefficient here is 1. So in order to change this 2 into a 1, we should probably divide both sides of the equation by 2. Get x squared, this will change into 4x, and this will change into 7. Um, and by rewriting this equation in this form, we finally have it in a way we can complete the square. See, the way you go from this line to the next line is half of negative 4 is negative 2 squared. But if you foiled this guy out, you'd get x squared minus 4x and then plus 4. So we have to get rid of that plus 4 by subtracting 4. And get to here. Uh, let's see, from here, all we got to do is solve for x. So maybe add 4 to both sides. Uh, 4 plus 7 is 11. Take the square root of both sides. When you do that, make sure you add the plus or minus here for the square root of 11. Then finally, add 2 to both sides. So we get x equals 2 plus or minus root 11. And we have our answer. Moving on to question 2. Question 2, we got a word problem. So what's going on here? Both of my dogs leave my house at noon um, and go running. So maybe here's my house right here. One of them is running east, the other one is running south. Let's see, after one hour, they are route 41 miles apart. Okay, this distance right here is the square root of 41. If the one running south ran one mile per hour faster than the one running east, how fast was each dog running? Okay, so maybe the one running east We'll let that speed be x. So this speed right here is x. And since distance equals rate times time, the distance here is going to be the rate x times the amount of time that the dog was running in that direction. Let's say it looks like one hour. So one times x right here. Um, and then this one, the one running south, is running one mile per hour faster than this guy. So that means this speed is x plus 1. And we multiply this by 1 also for the 1 hour. You can just leave it as x plus 1. Um, and now we have the picture that we need. We can use Pythagorean theorem to figure out what x has to be. Let's see, we know that this squared plus this squared equals this squared. So x squared plus x minus 1 squared has got to be equal to the square root of 41 squared. So x squared plus, if we foil this guy out, you get x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to the square root of 41 squared. Think about the square root is 41 to the 1 half power. Power raised to the power, you multiply them, you end up with just 41 to the 1 power, or 41. Um, now we can combine terms. Let's see, x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. We got 2x, and if we subtract 41 from both sides, we get minus 40 equals 0. Maybe we're running out of room, so we'll move this up here. Uh, let's see, we want to solve this thing. Uh, one little trick that will make this easier to factor is divide both sides of the equation by 2. You don't have to do this, but it'll make it easier to see what the answer is. So if you divide the left-hand side by 2, you get x squared plus x minus 20. 0 divided by 2 is still 0. Um, and now this is a little bit easier to look at. We hope it factors because we don't want to complete the square again. See, we need two numbers that multiply to be negative 20 and add to be positive 1. If you mess with that for a little while, I think you'll get x plus 5 and x minus 4. So we got something times something equals 0. That means that either the first something equals 0 or the second something equals 0. We got two simple equations we can solve. Subtract 5 from both sides here. Add 4 to both sides here. And so we, what we get is that x is either negative 5 or 4. 
But remember, x was the speed that the one dog was running east. So we wouldn't want this one. We'd want this one. Wouldn't want a negative speed. Um, and the question is asking how fast was each dog running. So that means one dog's speed was 40 and the other, or was 4. x equals 4. And the other one is 4 plus 1, so 5. So, I don't know, maybe we say dog's speed uh, would be 4 and 5. Good enough. Um, and that is the solution and the end of the quiz.